Getting answers true crime. Now to a case that Western Mass News continues to follow. This month marks 21 years since Karen Susie was murdered in her Springfield apartment. Two decades later, her family is still pleading for the public's help, creating a hashtag to bring awareness to her case. Police tell Western Mass News they've been investigating tips as recent as this week. I sat down with Karen's daughter, who still remembers the day she got the news that her mom was gone forever. It was just last year that Jenna Moore became vocal about her mother's death. For a long time, we were quiet, but it's time to kind of get loud and, and ask for the public's help. Western Mass News first brought you the story on the 20th anniversary of Susie's death, a day that Moore's life was changed forever. I remember the day that we were told, absolutely. It was um, a couple days after Halloween. On November 3rd, 2000, Karen Susie's body was found in her apartment at 22 Berkshire Street in Springfield. She was known to be gone at work um, at a certain time. Mail began piling up and Susie's car didn't move from her apartment. That's when neighbors began to worry. The landlord actually uh, entered her apartment and found her. Susie was found lying in the bathtub but had no visible injuries. For five months, the family wouldn't learn that her death was a homicide until her autopsy was complete. So it was blunt force trauma. Um, she had her, her neck had, she broke her neck and her ribs went had cracked and went into her lungs and she basically drowned to death in her own blood. The details surrounding Susie's death still haunt her two children 21 years later. It was too hard for Brandon Susie to talk to Western Mass News on this year's anniversary. He was just 14 while his sister was only 12. Moore recalls memories the two had with their mother, who she described as spontaneous. She loved to wake us up in the middle of the night, maybe, and, and look at stars. Now the family is starting the hashtag justice for Karen Susie for people to share updates on the case. We do believe that somebody knows something. There was no evidence of a struggle in Susie's apartment, leading more to believe her mother knew her attacker. There was no uh, forced entry. In a statement to Western Mass News, Springfield Police spokesperson Ryan Walsh tells us, quote, our homicide unit has looked into all tips and leads in this case and have been investigating tips as recently as this week. Walsh says tips come in sporadically for many cases and added that anniversaries and media coverage can help. Bridget Baldwin, a criminal law professor at Western New England University, tells us there are challenges to closing unsolved cases. The detriments, of course, will be that with a case that's 20 years old, witnesses forget information, witnesses die. But with the advancement of technology and DNA, Baldwin says there are opportunities to solve these cases, especially if police have preserved evidence. We have triangulation technology with cell phone towers. Um, police officers are scrutinizing um, statements by witnesses a lot more. And new officers investigating the case can provide a fresh perspective, Baldwin says. She tells us social media also plays an important role. I believe social media is very effective um, at times in um, assisting in solving um, these uh, crimes that have been hanging around for many years. Another reason why Moore encourages people to use their hashtag while she still waits for answers. I just want my mom's face remembered. I just want her story told. I want it solved. I want justice for her. I want peace for myself and my brother. Now both police and her children are hoping the right tip can lead to an arrest. And if you believe you may know something, anything to help with this case, text a tip to the number you see on your screen. It's crimes at 274-637 and type solve with your tip. You can also call the Springfield Police Department Homicide Unit at 413-787-6355. And Western Mass News is digging deeper into crimes that are happening in your community. So scan the QR code that's been on your screen to submit a case that you'd like us to look into for you.